yep back out again steep path so this time it's Friday again after work after a rotten week right the weather's been awful as you probably know but look not too bad I think today is the better of the, the weekend like Langley Crags, Housey Crags, Hedge Hope. There's a couple of lads, well, it was a lad I was talking to in the um, shop on the way here. Him and his mates are going up Hedge Hope tonight. Oof. I just could not fancy that at the minute. Don't know why. Just don't feel fit. There's people going up there, that may be them. Give you a wave. Didn't catch his name. Don't even know if he watches the videos. You can't just assume that people watch your videos. He did ask if I was camping on head shop though and standing in a shop, which is wondering why. Why did he ask us if I was going camping? Anyway, I digress. There's loads of wildlife. There's rabbits running about, flimmings flying out the, the heather. But yeah, this is just a short one because I'm out on the toon, the morrow on the razzle see if I can find me a wife <laughs> that's not happening by the way, that was a joke there'd be no wives Whew. I'm enjoying myself far too much although it doesn't sound like I'm enjoying this but you know lovely colours, green and purple I don't know if this camera's picking them up Whew. right I'm going to turn off because uh, it's just getting steeper like this is apparently the shortest path, most direct, but it's god steep. Right. A bit up there is a steep bit. Here we are. Uh, now there's a billion flies, but I don't mind the flies, the midges I don't like. I mean the flies are not great, but you know, at least they don't bite you. Woo! Short sharp shock that coming up there, that's a steep, a steep route that, you know, that can there just along here. But I think I'm knackered because uh, oh, I just had a really long day yesterday. Driving to York, man. York, there and back. Just to see how far it was. And honestly, I was there five minutes and then away. Well, I was there a bit longer actually, got held up. But it's just drive down to York. I was at Acklington Prison. HMP Northumberland, as it's known. And then I went, I went from there down to York, which is about 97 miles. Got delayed, held up, did me job. Came all the way back, just drove all the way back. Of course the traffic was busy on it. And then today I was up early, I was up about six. Um, I had a job in Long Benton for Greg's. I went there, that was an hour and a half late, that concrete, an hour and a half late. I was foaming. The second job I had, which I'd allowed for, so I wasn't running late for it. So I got there on time, it was two hours late. Honestly, two hours I sat there just sitting doing nothing. There's nothing I can do. And then my last two jobs, I had to, uh, what do you call it? They were just collecting, just collecting samples. Big blocks like that, eight kilograms each. There were 16 on one job. And I had to haul them like about a hundred yards from this, from where they were to the van. I couldn't get the van over to them. So 16, eight kilogram blocks, shuttling backwards and forwards. And this is a job hard about uh, about 24, but they were the smaller ones, but even they're two and a half kilos. I had to carry all of them. Absolutely knackered like that's that's why I'm tired. I can do the good sleep. Probably will sleep really well tonight. I can keep myself awake till at least 10 o'clock. Right. I'll just do this bit where I walk towards the uh, the trigger point, because I forgot to do that. So we'll do that now. 
just so it looks like I've done it twice. <laughs> Boosh! There you go. It's from here. So here's oh, here's my usual pitch. I've been here before. Like I say, I'm just here overnight. Uh, quick one because I'm away early tomorrow. Going out. Out of my depth when I go in drinking in the town. Out of my depth. I don't know what to do. <sighs> right. Now I could shoot myself in the foot here. But I want to show how easy this fly sheet is to put on. So you get it set up like that. Find the back of the fly sheet, the zips at the front obviously, grab, take a hold of the straps, like that. Got the wind behind us, right? Always puts it back into the wind with these tape things. And just, there you go. Clip it in, clip it in, clip it in. Clip, near the clip. Straighten it up, square it off like, and then just clip these ones in. Clip it in. And uh, tighten up, pull the straps. <laughs> now, how easy was that? So you know if it's raining, you cut your, cut your um, chances of getting really wet because that's so simple. I mean, I could just climb in there now till the rain goes off and then you come out and you straighten it all up, tighten it down. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show how really easy that was. And it was. Yes, party time tonight hills it's lovely out here you know it's just so nice and peaceful but you've got to beware the weather can change so drastically right, that's the chevy over here this time i think last week i will have been um over there somewhere over there maybe maybe over there can't quite place them. I think it was here. Anyway, and I was pointing out with the cheviots and all that. You can see all all cup crags up there. That's Hedge Hub. And there's a hill over there called Broad Struther, which I'm gonna plant a camp on. Um oh it might be over here. I'll have to look on the map. We just check the map to find out where they are. So that's it. Right, let's continue with this setup. So now it's up anyway. Give me a quick show around. So what's what? Still got some bag. Should have brought that quilt really. Remember last week I thought I was throwing that off, had it unzipped. We got my down jacket there, just a the lightweight summer one in case it gets a bit chilly. Ooh. The light. Another layer spare t-shirt uh, some of this porridge for the morning fudge meets porridge that's lovely for the it gives you a clue as to what I'm having for food in there in there Pack the crisps midgy hat net just in case cooking stuff pan and that oh, the radio I'm gonna put that out on the um trick point off some music on not loud you know not loud what I do is right when I put the music on I'll put it here and I will then I'll walk over there until I can't hear it if I can hear it like over here it's too loud so I'll turn it down so you know what I mean so I've got like a, um, a 20 odd circle around me 
and if I can hear it outside that circle, I'll turn it down just to just so I don't disturb anybody who might be about, you know. Anyway, look, hey, <laughs> Bruce Forsyth, they've changed the um, they've changed the wrapper on that, it's all glossy now. Nice, I like the feel of it. Kind of heathen, a couple of uh, punks, faith in the tropics, and a bottle of the house of the devil, the devil himself, and there he is, right. So I've had a um, I've had a hard week, right? So that's why, that's why. So there might be some madness later on. I might edit all that out though. <laughs> right, I'm gonna stop waffling on, have a drink, and um, no, that's it really. Chill out a bit before tea time. So cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, it's nice that one. It's still nice. Dead basic, you know, but it's lovely. Hopefully this is the start of the nice weather, eh? Probably not. I can see them on TV, I can see people up there. Bloody hell. The clarity of the air is so good. It's like it was last week, in the morning last week. I can see for miles. East coast. It's a bit hazy over there, it's either haze or rain. But you would be able to see Bambra Castle from here. And possibly Lindisfarne as well. Eh, not today though. Right. Uh. Now I can talk. Alright, so just stand here. Enjoying the uh the dry for now because it's changing. <laughs> all the all the blue sky from before is now over there. And we've got a load of grey cloud coming in this way. So I think we're gonna be diving in the tent shortly. Hmm. Doesn't matter though. Tent up, you know. That's all that's the that's the most important bit. Get your tent up before you get drenched and it doesn't matter if it rains then. It's actually quite nice when it rains to be fair. It's the wind I hate. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. Have a look. So you've got the, the blue sky disappearing over the east coast there and followed by this oh dear might not be rain like it might just be you know just overcast the forecast says not going to rain until tomorrow about 10 o'clock so it could be right doesn't look like rain cloud does it whereas over there it does look like rain you can sort of see the you can see the rain in um Ah, oh, you know what I mean. You can always see, you can always tell when there is the rain. But yeah, anyway, I'm just enjoying my little party. My little party. It's good. I like it. The radio is brilliant. It's working again. See, you've got the solar panel on the top. I don't think I've charged it for a month. <laughs> it's mad. Crazy. Phone signaling as well, so I can keep an eye on that uh, weather forecast. Like I say, it's not um, it's not saying it's going to rain, so we might be alright when we get away with it. I prefer it when it's dry. Oh yeah, I was just looking on the map, right over there, right in the distance, is where I was last week. It's miles away. It's bloody miles away. But I'm remembering, I think it was, was it four miles or something I walked? Four and a half mile from the car, so yeah, that'll be right. That Watch Hill and Fred and Hill right over there. And uh, Broad Struther is here. I don't know if that's the summit. I don't think that's the summit of Broad Struther. I think it's over there somewhere. But uh, the big one's the Cheviot. But uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But there's like little hills in front of it. That might be where I'm looking. Mm. Yep, yeah, shooters as well. That's oh, good here, like. I did me 20, 20 yard sweep. I got about where that little bit of heather you see it's disturbed just here. Got to there, couldn't hear the radio. So that's good. Uh, not that anybody will come up like I can't see it. So I'm gonna have that. A couple of these. And probably not have all of that, you know. I mean that would just be ridiculous. A couple of a couple of swigs. 
got it out of the bag and I thought, oh no, it's a cork. No, it's not, it's screw top. <laughs> Panic on. Right, come on, enough jibber jabber. Quit your jibber jabber. In March, the global average sea News. temperature rose to 20.9. Oh, shit. Right, little cosy setup here. So that the uh, barbecue butchers burgers, handmade British beef burgers from Morrison's. British beef burgers. Bloody British beef burgers, man. Yeah. Um. Faith in the futures. Slices of cheese. And I showed you this earlier. Burger sauce. Bring this one. Yeah. Right, let's get them in. I've got my hand sanitizer, don't forget. Oh, it's not hot enough. I'm just knock it out of it. I give this stove a clean up and it seems to be working better. Jump cut, battery died. How smooth was that? Smooth or not smooth? Anyway, the stove, I give it a clean out. Didn't really do much to it, like I just, I just took this off. Give it a little brush out. Blew the, the uh, braided hose, just blew it. Now it came out, so I don't know. Anyway, that's it really. In the little porch, doing my tea. Ah, oh, I like this. I like this Friday night camps. Very good, very nice. Not many people around either. Oh, look at Hedgehog over there, by the way. Look at the cloud hat it's wearing. Oh my goodness me, them lads. You should have come to Cold Law with me. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's the only cloud around here and it's on the Hedgehog. It's just sitting there. They'll be enveloped. What a sickener. No views for you, lads. Right. Crack on. Here we are, the burgers merrily cooking away. I've just only got, uh, I've got them on a low peep, so I won't cook too fast. I've got to get them, see how it's still, still raw there. But we'll get there. Anyway, people have asked me, right, in the past, how I go out in the wind. Can you hear the wind here? Wind, right? Saying, how do you get the? How do you get rid of the noise of the wind? And I'll tell you how. Right? You might. It might be windy there. Ooh, ooh, the stove's going mad. You might have got wind noise there, right? But what I normally do is I have this on. It's a wind slayer, right? It's foam. It's foam like what you get on a microphone, like a professional microphone. It's just a just a foam case. The pennies on eBay, them right. You can get them for your own. You can get them for your specific type of GoPro. So you've got like the, you know, you've got the, the hole at the top and the one on the left there. And that's for the, the bit that comes out the bottom for your screen on the back, screen on the front. Honestly, what a piece of kit that is. I've been out in some right windy conditions, and yeah, you can still hear a little bit of wind noise, but you can't actually listen to it, it's bearable. A lot of them without them on you can't listen to it like so I eBay cheapest chips foam wind slayer you just put in your your exact GoPro I think you can get them for the um what they call them DJI things Osmo I think you can get them for the Osmos as well definitely worth getting like I've got this on. 
on guard duty. Doing its thing. Let's probably turn it off now because uh, the breeze has picked up. There was a few things flying about before though. There's nothing coming in the tent. Nothing. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, God. Wait, cut on with these. Not flip these. Wait. There you go. I'll put the lid on that one here. Yeah. Just to show you, you get the burger relish, the burgers. I went for Wagyu burgers, right? But there was um, there was only the six. It was like a six pack. Only eight quid. I thought, nah, I only need two. So I just got them. Just the standard Morrison's burgers. They're all right. They're nice enough. Oh, I've used two bases. Oh, man. What am I doing? I've done this before, right? And it was Stalker's fault. Obviously. So I used... Oh, look. That's it. I put the, I put the bun, the tops there and the base there and I still get it wrong. I think I've had too much beer. But you know what? I don't care, right? I don't care. I'll drink as much beer as I want. Look at that over there. That is unbelievable now. Them poor lads on hedge herp. They're knackered. <laughs> oh my god. I mean it looks great from here, but when you when you're in that, I've been in that before and it's not not pleasant like. That is not pleasant. The condensation they'll be getting as well will be horrific. Look at that. Oh god, that's that's unreal. It's actually quite spectacular. A little bit spooky. Spooky. Right, I'm gonna uh, trough these, be sick, and then we'll come back and we'll have a chat. Yeah. Well, burgers were lovely, like, really nice. You see that trick point there, right? If you look at me, um, my YouTube. The profile picture, you know, that's me standing. I'm standing on that trig point there in the sunset with my arms out. That's the that's the trig I'm stood upon. Huh. Anyway, the cap's gone off the hedge up, so them lads have got the view back. Can you see me? Can you? I bet you can't. Excuse. Pardon. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get in. It's a bit chilly now. Oh, it's actually really cold. It's August, man, and I'm standing here with a down coat on, freezing. I'm freezing. So I'm getting in. I'm getting in a second because the music's playing, so. Copyright and all that. But yeah, had a good night. We'll get in the tent and we'll have a little chat about something or other. I like to chat, I like to waffle on. If you like waffle, you're at the right place, like... Waddles waffle. Weedles waffle. Uh, have a look at the, the banner, like, um, I've got my profile picture where I'm stood. Hero pose in some sort of sunset, but in the background, there's a, the banner is... Me stood on that trig point. With a nice sunset behind us. That was a few years ago. Blimey. Well, here I am again, <laughs> happy as can be. Saw your mother and father climbing up a tree. Ooh, matron. Um, I just, uh, just a little say thank you for watching. Oh, I've got a load of new subscribers lately. Mm. It's been good. Welcome along to the channel. I hope you stick around because, you know, I don't really, um, I don't really take myself too seriously, and you shouldn't either. I will give old camping tips, like, you know, if I get a tent to test, I'll do it properly. I won't make it up. And look, I'm using it again. This is the fifth time in a row I'm using this tent, and I'm still absolutely over the moon with it. That uh, the cloud went from hedgehog, it went and vanished. 
I might have to close this vent because it's flapping a bit, vibrating a bit with the wind. But yeah. So it was just to say, um, on the back of me mentioning David Miles, Miles from anywhere, mentioned his channel last week. And a lot of you have uh, subscribed, which is much appreciated, like, because it is a good channel. And I think those of you who have subscribed will agree that he does have some good content. And he needs to he needs to grow that channel. That that channel needs a lot more subs and views. Like that's it's pure wild camping. He doesn't um, he doesn't do what you know. He doesn't like promote Chinese stuff. As good as it is, it does get a bit tedious. But no, it's, it's pure pure wild camping, Dave. And I think I'm going out with him in a couple of weeks near the end of August. I think we're gonna we're planning a camp. There's another channel, right? There's another channel that I watch. And if you watch if you watch my videos and I'm in the Cheviots and I'm trying to name all the hills and failing miserably most of the time. Because to be fair, a lot of these hills do look uh, they do all, all look the same. But there's another channel that you need to go and have a look at. And it's a it's a lady called Emma. M's Adventures, right? M's Adventures. See if I can see if I can edit this. <laughs> probably be, the, the name will probably be like another couple of frames time. But anyway, M's Adventures, I'll put a um I'll put a link to her channel. She's unreal. She I think she lives up in the Cheviots. I won't say where. I think I know where, but I won't say where, obviously. But she's always out she's always out around the hills, the Cheviots, you know what I mean? She goes like, oh, finished work. Go for a walk, Cheviots, boosh, look at this, look at that. And somehow, she's always catching the sunsets. And I'm like, where, where was that sunset when I was there? How does she do this? What is this wizardry? So yeah, so go and have a look at M's Adventures, right? If you wanna, if you wanna find out about the Cheviots, she doesn't, she doesn't always do camping. I mean, she has been out on a few wild camps, which have been mint, but, uh, a main thing is her knowledge of the Cheviots. And she does a lot of walks out there, you know? And she takes you she takes you up the hills, she gives you all the details, you know what I mean? She she panoramas, she does this panorama round and she's naming all the hills, unlike unlike what I do, where I just mostly make it up. Oh no, she's good like. She knows the Cheviots. So go and check her out. That'll be good. That'll be good if you if you're interested in the Cheviot Hills. You can't have gone wrong with M's Adventures. Okay. There you go. Top tip. I sent you to Milesy and you were all happy about him. No, go and have a look at Emma. Anyway, oh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna have this last can of beer. Where is it? Oh yeah. I'm gonna have the last can and then I'm gonna break up the bottle of wine. And I am going to. Probably not finish it, but I get a, I might get a couple of glasses out of it, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Up as early as I can tomorrow. Probably, be, probably get up about two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Piglet. Probably get up about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, there's no panic. I'm going out. Like I said, I'm going out tomorrow night. So. Oh my god, no, early. So yeah, Emma's Adventures. M's Adventures. M's. E-M-Z. And then there's a underscore. Yeah, I'll put it in. I'll show you. o'clock nine o'clock I was up quite early but I got back down couldn't get up
come back. We could have another hour in Badlands. Well, yeah. Never take a bottle of wine on a camp with you. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's not great, but you know, at least the rain's off for now. I chop enveloped. I'll be going off that way. Uh, and then down that way, and then along there. Right, oh. so I'm gonna get the kettle on, have a cup of tea, coffee, and then get packed away and off away. Oh, I can't be bothered, like, just can't be bothered. What was I just saying there outside about the rain? It has turned nasty. Underneath the rain cloud now. The, wind, the wind's changed direction as well. There's wind's coming this way now. It was coming from behind when I set up. Ah, uh, dear. Anyway, I have waterproofs. So, you know. Right. Oh, rain. Uh, yeah. For those of us about to sacrifice our dryness, all in the name of YouTube. Oh, yeah, it's washing down. Ah, it's a big black cloud, isn't it? Oh, I've got the coffee on anyway. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> See with the vent, the vent closed, no rain. Wow. That's heavy. Heavy man. None coming in though. What's a thumbs up? Just shut the vent. So shut. no rain coming in now. Woohoo! Oh my god! Right, well, it's not great. But I'm packed away. Everything's away, no trace. LNT, leave no trace. I didn't even have a fire on the grass and burn the grass. Oh, that's good, eh? Who would do such a thing? Alright, so I'm off. As Led Zeppelin once said, with this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So it's me who's gonna leave. I'll leave it with a bit of rain on the lens.
Spider-Man. I'm like Michael Jackson.